Welcome, and thank you for taking the time to learn a bit more about Commissioner Tools and the Unit Service Plan. This is one of a series of videos designed to help you learn quickly how to use the Unit Service Plan to provide better service, helping units provide quality scouting programs to youth. This module will explain how to use a simple assessment to update a unit service plan. If you have not already done so, watch other videos in this series on the unit service plan first. The topics we will discuss include a brief overview of our unit, the characteristics of unit contacts, using the simple assessment to update a unit service plan, and using an intermediate assessment to meet special needs. Here are the key characteristics of the troop our unit commissioner is serving. Using the detailed assessment function in commissioner tools, our unit's key leadership and commissioner worked together to complete a collaborative assessment that identified the unit's strengths and needs. They then built a unit service plan. They identified a small number of tasks to be completed over the next few months to improve budgeting and planning, program, and leadership health. Accountability and target dates were established for each. Their goal was to improve the quality of the program the unit delivers to the youth it serves. Our unit's dashboard in Commissioner Tools displays two contacts that were discussed in earlier videos in this series. On May 8th, our unit commissioner completed an intermediate assessment to capture personal observations about the unit. On June 9th, our commissioner met with the unit leaders and together they completed a detailed assessment that identified the unit's strengths and needs. They then developed a unit service plan to address the needs they identified. Like all completed assessments, both of those can be reviewed by our commissioner at any time to see the details. A completed contact with a score of 2.9 contains the collaborative assessment and unit service plan. Our commissioner can open it at any time to review the details. With our plan completed, our unit commissioner can use the simple assessment function in commissioner tools to report progress. All completed contacts can be opened at any time to see their details. Here we see one of the unit service plan's actions all registered adults current on youth protection training. The current date for that task is November 30. As our unit commissioner makes additional contacts with the unit, he can use a simple assessment to update plan progress. We used to speak of unit visits. With the new tools and techniques available, that's too limiting. We now use contacts to describe the broader range of interactions commissioners have with units. Frequent contacts are best. Contacts should be significant. They should help the unit leaders accomplish some element of the unit service plan or record progress. Making contact in a variety of settings provides a better view of a unit's strengths and needs. Commissioners should attend unit meetings, committee meetings, outings, and other activities to gain a balanced perspective. Significant contacts need not be in person. A phone call or series of emails could truly be significant. On the other hand, a passing conversation at roundtable may foster communications, but it's unlikely to result in unit service plan progress. A month has passed since our unit service plan was finalized. Our unit commissioner has completed a simple assessment summarizing a meeting over coffee with the scoutmaster and committee chair. The budgeting training the committee chairman asked for has been scheduled and the leaders remain positive about the plan that has been built. We can see another completed contact that has been added to the unit's dashboard. The tilde on the July 10th contact tells us the simple assessment function was used and the lack of a tilde on the two earlier assessments tells us the detailed assessment function was used for those. Another month has passed and another completed contact can be seen on the unit's dashboard. 
While visiting a troop meeting, our unit commissioner learns that the budget training went well and work on the budget is underway. Also, the Scoutmaster has scheduled a program planning conference, so progress is being made on that part of the plan too. Another simple assessment has been added to the dashboard, indicating another contact. Real progress is being made. Both the annual budget and program plan have been completed. Better yet, the program plan was used in developing the budget. Our commissioner also learned that work is underway to implement the patrol method. The plan is coming together. Our commissioner can continue to use the simple assessment function to report on unit contacts and update progress of the unit service plan. The unit's plan was designed to be completed within six months and was focused. It included only a limited number of goals. Our commissioner and the unit leaders will complete another collaborative assessment of the unit's strengths and needs after six months and another unit service plan so that improvement can continue. But even the best plans can encounter challenges. We can see a new contact on the dashboard and can tell the detailed assessment function was used. We can also see our unit's rating dropped and the health indicators suggest there is a leadership issue. Our commissioner has used an intermediate assessment and lowered the ranking of leadership health due to the sudden resignation of the scoutmaster. Although we can see there is a succession plan, this creates a situation that should be closely monitored while the unit leadership works through the transition. Our commissioner has used step six of his intermediate assessment to indicate there is a leader change with a succession plan in place. Also in step six, our unit commissioner has indicated a priority need, issues with key three. Our unit will now appear on the units with priority needs report commissioner tools can produce so that this immediate need will receive additional attention by the district's unit service team. The unit commissioner and unit will receive additional support from district leadership as a result. Commissioner Tools is beginning to tell the story of our new unit. There are still good things to be said about it. Progress has been made. There's been a setback. Opportunities remain. The good news is that there is immediate access to information and our unit commissioner isn't alone. The assistant district commissioner district commissioners, and district executive all have the same access, making it possible to gather resources needed to support and sustain the unit. As our commissioner continues to work with our unit, a record of unit contacts is maintained and used to document its strengths, needs, and progress. Unit service is a cycle. The unit service plan in commissioner tools provides the flexibility to support that cycle. It truly is a better way to help our units better serve more youth through scouting.